Hey guys, and welcome to an exciting update video. A few days ago, a brand new version of HitFilm, HitFilm Express 2017 was released. And in this video, I want to take you through some of the cool new features and show you how to use them. HitFilm is a software tool for indie filmmakers and it aims to combine both video editing and visual effects compositing capabilities in a single software package. There are different flavors of HitFilm available. HitFilm Pro is the paid version of the software with many advanced features and HitFilm Express being the feature reduced sibling is entirely free. The 2017 release adds a whole bunch of cool new features to HitFilm Express such as support for 4K video as well as video with variable frame rate so if you import any videos that you shot on your phone audio and video will no longer go out of sync. There's a new audio mixer as well as an automatic way to sync your audio and your video in case you're recording them separately which is what I'm doing. There's also a much improved exporting workflow using the new export queue and you can now easily add L and J cuts to your project in your editor timeline. On top of all of that, there's some cool new effects now included with the base version of HitFilm Express, such as light swords and heat distortion, and Walter has been having a bit too much fun with those already. As with previous versions of HitFilm Express, you can purchase add-on packs to pick and choose different tools or effects to add to your software package depending on what type of project you're working on. And if you have purchased add-on packs in the past, don't worry, they'll carry over to the new version. If you intend to buy a whole bunch of add-on packs though, you may want to consider just getting the Pro version because it does include a few features that simply aren't available in the Express edition. But now, since I already talked the years off, let's jump into HitFilm Express 2017 and check out some of the cool new features. First off, if you still haven't gotten yourself a free copy of HitFilm Express, do jump over to hitfilm.com express and on this website you will find a whole bunch of different content and tutorials for how to use HitFilm. But if you just want to get the software, just come up to the very top and simply press let's do this. Also, I highly recommend that you do check out Westworld to Humor, which is a great short film created by Filmrite in collaboration with the guys at FX Home. But if you just want to get the software, simply click on Get HitFilm Express free. You are going to get asked to tell your friends about HitFilm Express via social media, so you can simply click on one of these links. Now, you don't have to share on social media if you really don't want to. You can simply close this pop-up, create yourself a free account and download HitFilm Express. But given it's free, it might be nice to give these guys a shout out. Once you've created your account, you can download the software and install it on your computer. So now let's jump into HitFilm Express 2017. Welcome to the 2017 release of HitFilm Express. Now the startup screen looks pretty familiar. On the right hand side you have a whole bunch of integrated content and tutorials and tips and tricks on how to get started creating your own films and visual effects. And over on the left hand side you will find all of the available add-on packs that you can purchase and add to your base installation of HitFilm Express. But for now, we're just going to go with the absolute base version of HitFilm Express that you can get off the FX Home website absolutely free. Let's start out by creating a new project. You will be presented with the project settings and again, this looks pretty familiar. However, under the templates, you will now find a much larger range of available project settings going all the way up to 4K Ultra HD at 100 frames per second. But let's say I just filmed some video on my phone, so I'm simply going to go with 720p at 30 frames per second and hit start editing. First off, let's bring some media into our project and here are a few clips that I filmed on my iPhone. So let's simply grab one and bring them in. One of the problems with previous versions of HitFilm Express was that if you had video with variable frame rate, like something you shot on a phone and you used it in your project over time, audio and video might drift out of sync. But now if we simply grab this clip, drop it into the timeline and play this back, I am recording this video on my iPhone, which uses a variable frame rate video format. So on all the versions of HitFilm, you may have noticed that your audio and your video drift out of sync over time. But with the latest version of HitFilm Express 2017, which now supports variable frame rate footage, that is no longer an issue. And you heard the man. Working with any footage that has variable frame rates, such as something you filmed on your phone or any video game footage you may have casted somewhere, should no longer be a problem in the latest version of HitFilm Express. 
Another cool feature that is now also available in the Express edition of HitFilm is automatically syncing your audio and your video. Let me bring some additional footage into my project. Let me clear everything out and drag this new clip into my timeline. Sure, let's update the sequence settings. This clip is me talking to the camera actually for this very video and usually I do record my audio separately so at the bottom of the screen you can't actually see it I have a zoom h5 standing and aimed at my face to record the audio separately. So in my project I also have a waveform which contains the audio from that recorder. Usually what I do is I would add another audio track and drag the wave file onto that track. And then I would zoom in and align these two waveforms so that the audio from the recorder matches the audio from the camera. And then you can simply disable the camera audio and you're left with a really high quality audio track for your footage. That does actually work pretty well but it tends to be quite cumbersome. So let me delete everything again and now you can simply select the camera clip as well as the audio for it and you can right click and select merge audio and video file and HitFilm will automatically combine the video track as well as the external audio file and merge them together so you're left with good quality audio from the get-go. This creates a new file in my project panel and you can now simply drag and drop that into your timeline. Now I don't know whether it was an issue with the files I was using or maybe my files were just too long or too big but my end results usually ended up being a little bit out of sync so I think I'm just going to prefer the manual method but it's nice that it's available and I highly recommend you check it out because if you can automatically merge your audio into your video this is going to save you a whole lot of hassle. The 2017 release for HitFilm Express adds a whole bunch of cool new features such as support for 4K video. But now let's get to the fun stuff. Here's the project from the beginning of the video of Walter playing Jedi. The project consists of a composite shot as well as quite a few audio files for the fire and the flame and the sparks and the debris and everything. And usually it's been a little bit tricky to manage all of that audio in HitFilm Express. But now in HitFilm Express you can simply come up into the menu to this little grid icon and bring up an audio mixer. And this audio mixer will give you full control over the volume of every single audio track in your project as well as over on the right hand side I've got a master slider. So let's rewind and play this back. This audio mixer allows you to adjust the volume for every single track in your footage together with adjusting the volume of every single clip just by dragging this audio line and so you can kind of tweak your audio to your liking. Let's hide the audio mixer again and let's talk about the new export queue. If you jump over into the export tab you will notice that this looks very different from previous versions for HitFilm where you just had a single dialogue and you can export to YouTube, MP4, AVI or an image sequence. This looks much more like Adobe Media Encoder and the cool thing is that this allows you to export many different composite shots or edited timelines or sequence at the same time with a whole bunch of different presets. Let me quickly return to my editor timeline and let's say I wanted to for one export this final clip. So for that down at the bottom here I can select to either export the contents or my in and out area and a lot of people have issues exporting the black areas behind their video and that's because at the top here I don't know whether you can see it there's this highlight this bright area and this defines what you're actually going to export. So if you're exporting a whole bunch after your video you are going to export nothing so you are going to export some black contents. What you can do easiest simply right click on the top of your timeline and select set to contents and this little highlighted gray area will be defined to only the contents of your actual timeline and now we can simply select export in out area or well, let's just export the contents of this. This has now been added to my export queue and it asked me whether I want to go there but let's say I want to continue editing for now I don't actually want to do that and I have another composition here for a title and all that is let me rewind and play this back for you guys. Just a really simple title for Walter the Jedi coming in and coming out. And let's say I wanted to export that too. So let's also add the contents of this to the export queue. And this time, yeah, sure, let's go to the export. In my export queue, I now have two items. I have my editor timeline, which is the final composite effect. And I have this little Walter the Jedi title. Now I've got different formats here. I can apply different presets and just like with the media encoder in Adobe you can actually just grab and drop these on. So let's say I wanted to export my editor timeline as a Vimeo video for 1080p and maybe I want a Facebook 720 version for my title. So you can just drop these presets onto the items in your export queue and once you're all set up you can simply hit start exporting. HitFilm will now export all of the items in my editor timeline but 
Unlike the media encoder, I can't actually go back to editing unless I suspend exporting, but let's just continue exporting and let all of this finish. And there you go, we're all done. Let's return to our editor timeline and let's bring in the items that we've just exported. Here's the export for our final editor timeline and it's just a clip of Walter destroying my study room. And obviously we have this little Walter the Jedi title. And so now I can actually come over here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Let me drop this item into my timeline and I'm going to add a second copy because I now want to show you how easy it is in the new version of HitFilm Express to add L and J cuts. If you don't know what L and J cuts are, they're essentially techniques where you either hear the audio first or you see the visual first before you cut over to the new shot. And I have a tutorial on my channel that explains exactly what they are and why you would want to use them. In HitFilm Express, let me zoom in just a little bit. You can now easily add L and J cuts if you hold down your Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac and you can now trim the video and the audio layers independently. So you can kind of create this cool L cut for example where the video cuts over first before the audio. Let's drop another copy of this clip into our timeline and move over a little bit and let's do it the other way. Again, just hold down Alt and let's pull this in a little bit and maybe the audio on this one as well. And now I have created a J-cut. If you want total freedom, you can also just simply click on this clip and simply select unlink and it will unlink your audio and your video tracks. So you can kind of freely move them around and edit them in any way you want. But it's nice just to have an easy way to add L on J-cuts. Finally, let's talk about some cool new effects that are now included in the base version of HitFilm Express. Let me dig into the Walter Jedi composite shot. And here, obviously, you can see I've already made use of the light sort effect as well as the heat distortion effects, which are now included in the base version of HitFilm Express. And you can apply them like anything else. You'll find them in your effects panel. If in here I search for light sort, you have three different options. You can either create a two point, a four point or a glow only version of this light sort. And what's really cool about these effects is that HitFilm will actually calculate the motion blur on the blade for your light sword. So that's kind of a really cool effect. And obviously heat distortion, you can just apply it in any way you want. Um, I've got my heat distortion here and I've kind of got a mask on this layer. So you got the heat distortion just around where the fire is. It kind of looks really nice. I'm really liking this effect. And so it's great that those ones are now included without you having to pay a cent. Just a quick bonus before we wrap up, HitFilm Express 2017 has added a search bar into your composite shot so you can really easily find layer properties or effect properties and you'll also find that search bar in your controls panel. So it's really easy to locate exactly what you're looking for and make changes without having to dig manually through all of your layers. There's plenty of other cool features available in this latest version and I am going to put a link to the official release notes down in the description of the video. But I highly recommend that you simply grab yourself a version of HitFilm Express for free if you haven't already and start creating some cool stuff. And that's all I have for you today. HitFilm Express has come a pretty long way and I'm really excited for this release. Yes, there's still quite a lot of things that I think can be improved from the user interface and just some of the processes just to make it all flow a little bit better. But it's pretty hard to complain about free software. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please show your support by liking, favoriting and sharing it with the world. Don't forget to subscribe if you do want to see some more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials or reviews just like this one. And if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.